Hey everyone, in this really quick video, I wanted to cover the now generally available free Microsoft SQL offer. Now, previously the offer was we could get one free serverless database uh, per subscription for the entire life of that subscription. Well, now with the general availability, what's happened in instead of one, what we really get is 10 of these free SQL serverless instances. Now, all 10 of them do have to be in the same region. So that's something really important to understand. And what I get with the free SQL serverless instance is 100,000 V core seconds. Now, how long that actually will last you depends on the size of the instance. Because if I choose the option to, for example, only be able to use that 100,000 and then stop for the remainder of the month, because this 100,000 is per month, well, my actual instance could be, for example, half a V core, so I'd get 200,000 of elapsed time seconds up to greater numbers, I think four if you use the auto pause. In fact, we can see this. So if we jump over really quickly, I can see I'm creating a database and we get the option to, hey, look, the first 100,000 V core seconds and that's 32 gigabytes of storage and I can apply the offer. Now, when I apply the offer, what we'll see is, well, the pricing all goes to zero. But then if we scroll down and do the configure database, well, this is where we can select the size of actually what the instance maximum is. And you'll notice the minimum is half a V core, and I can scale this up to four. Now, this is because what I have configured is, yes, I'm using the free database offer, and obviously I could turn that off, and then I could do very different configurations, but I'm saying auto-pause it until the next month. So once I've used that 100,000 V core seconds, it will pause and not be usable until the next month where it refreshes. Or I can say, well, look, use the 100,000. And then once I've used the 100,000, we'll then continue charging me. So I do get to choose how I actually want to leverage this. So the point here is this is per month. and then it's gonna refresh. And as you saw, the other thing you get as part of that is 32 gigabytes of storage and 32 gigabytes of backup. So I can back up the data I'm actually using. We saw we get those options for, hey, pause until the month resets or pay for additional. And this is serverless. And one of the nice things about the serverless, remember, is when it's running, it will auto pause after 15 minutes. So it will pause after, that means 900 seconds of inactivity, and it will just resume when I try and use it again. So if I think about the 100,000, let's say it's one V core, well, that's like 100 instantiations calling to the database. This is really obviously aimed at development time. I'm not gonna probably run any kind of production workload that needs to run all month because it's just not going to give you enough. But if I'm developing something, I wanna be able to experiment, I can now have up to 10 of these databases, these 10 distinct instances that I could use as part of my development effort. So it's really nice from that perspective that, hey, I'm doing some test, it can resume. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna consume some of these calls. Yes, I could go and manually pause it, but even if I don't, hey, 15 minutes later, 900 seconds, it's gonna pause anyway, and I can continue then using it. I cannot combine the 10 instances together to get a million V core seconds for a single instance. Um, I can move to the paid if I wanna switch between them. The other thing I could potentially do is, remember I said they all have to be the same region well, if I want to stand it up in a different region, I could delete all of the free ones or change them all to a paid offering. And then again, the first free one I apply the offer to would be the new region for that. But that was it. I mean, that's what the offer's all about. It's just a really nice way that, especially for those dev test environments, I can get access to a SQL database and 
Remember, use that pause capability so I can just have these constant interactions while I'm doing dev work, test against it, and save me some money. Hope that's useful. Till next video, take care.